Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 10. Today, verses 23 and 24, we're getting these teachings of Jesus. And we jump in here, and here's what we have. Then he, Jesus, then he turned to his disciples and said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see, for I tell you that many prophets and kings have desired to see what you see and have not seen it, and to hear what you hear and have not heard it. Jesus is doing miracles throughout uh, Judea and all that area, and he tells the other workers, the other his other workers, you should be glad you're seeing things that, that you know, the, your, my word's been talking about for thousands of years. You're seeing those things come to fruition. You're seeing the God of heaven actually working. And you're seeing things that many kings and righteous people wanted to see, but they haven't seen it. Your eyes behold it. Your eyes see it. And so you should be glad about that. Yes, wouldn't you and I be glad if we could just watch 10 minutes of video, five minutes, one minute of video from, you know, actually Jesus, what he, when he actually did a miracle. Wouldn't you like to have one minute, one minute of that? Wouldn't that be valuable to you? But if you were there on the scene and you saw it and heard it and, and saw what happened and saw the lives changed, that would be good and important. And you know what? We often don't think of it that way. We think of this as sort of a theoretical business. It's out there, you know, maybe something good will happen if I do something. Let's accept that the kingdom, the kingdom is here. The kingdom's upon us. We are here to serve the Lord. And why is this just restricted to the time of Jesus? No, because God is working through his Holy Spirit with us now. And if we uh, give ourselves to him fully, he will, at different occasions, he will use us in such a way that we are able to be a great blessing in this earth. We will see Satan fall like lightning from heaven. We will see the miracles of God, things that people have wanted to see, you know, People say, well, yeah, just show us one miracle. Well, miracle is one thing, and God may show you a miracle. But John the Baptist was one of his greatest servants of all, and he never did one miracle. God is not there to do parlor tricks for people. God's kingdom is serious. And a lot of times people just dismiss the kingdom out of hand, and that's all wrong. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we have the privilege of being on your team, doing things in your kingdom. Lord, may we do them. May we have a, a sense of the joy and the blessedness of seeing things, things that people have wanted to see, seeing it happen before our own eyes as we serve you, if that be your will, that, that these things happen. Now, Lord, send us your miracles, not because of our goodness, of which there is none, but because of your goodness, of which there is no end in supply. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. So, may we rejoice in seeing the things actually happen before our own eyes that God is doing in this world. He has not stopped. His blessing be with you.